Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make your wire looking from this to this. Okay, so now the first step is to get a plugin and uh, for that we need to open the toolbox from right here and make sure we are on plugins category. So if you are on models or anything else, make sure you are here on plugins and uh, we will need to search for auto scale light. So auto scale light. So it needs to be this one. Make sure the icon is red and uh, it's made by Zag Bytes. And uh, maybe for you it should uh, show get it or poor case. I don't know, but uh, I have already downloaded it and now I just need to install it. So let's hit the install button. And it's done. We can close the toolbox and go here at plugins, the last window. And uh, it should appear here. This, uh, these three icons, add constraint, unit conversion and scale text and also shows here auto scale light. So, but if you don't find it, go here at manage plugins and uh, search, search for it in this list. It should be the first one because his name starts with A. So make sure this button is green. So look, when I turn it off, it disappears from here. And uh, when I turn it on, it, uh, it appears here. So make sure you have enabled it. And uh, we can close this one. And uh, let's, let's start scaling some UI. Okay, so now we have to go here in Starter GUI and uh, insert a screen GUI. And uh, let's add some buttons, maybe design a shop. So let's start with a uh, text button. And uh, let's, uh, let's scale it a little. Make it a square, something like this. Maybe a little bigger. Make sure we put it on center, on the middle. Now let's add an, uh, let's add in this screen GUI on uh, frame too. Let's uh, make it uh, enough big, something like this. Make sure uh, we center it. Now let's add a header for it. So let's search here for a text label. So here we will put the title, so I don't know, I will put shop. Okay, so let's add in this frame a uh, text button too. Maybe we can use it as a close button. Let's make it a little smaller, so something like this. Put it in the corner, in the right corner up. Technically, this is all of our UI. And now to see how it looks on mobile or uh, any other devices, we need to go here at test. And uh, in right part, we will see here these three icons at emulation. And we will need to press to click on the first one, on the device one. And uh, here it will change uh, the, the device because I have already using another one, so when I scale Y, I always keep the phone. So you can uh, change it from here. You have a lot of, of devices, a lot of iPads, Samsung tab. You also have uh, consoles, Xbox One, PS5, also VR. So let's, let's keep it on iPhone 14 Pro. And you can see how it looks. We don't even see the close button. Okay, so let's go back and scale the Y so it will look good on the phone. So let's return back to our, our window. So let's deactivate the device so we can see our studio normal. And uh, we will need to make sure that one of these Ys, the frame, the text button, the other text button is selected. And uh, while it is selected, we need to go here at plugins and uh, go on the second, on the second icon on the unit conversion. And we need to click on it and it will pop up a little panel. And uh, what we have to do is to scale it at position and scale it at size. So let's scale it at position and at size too. And uh, we need to do that with each of the frame, each of the button of the text label, whatever it is. So let's start with the frame. Let's do the same thing on it, scale and scale. Let's take the text button, the same things. And the text label, let's scale it too. And uh, technically we are done. And what you can also do is to go here again on plugins 
and uh, make sure to see where you have text. Uh, we need to scale the text too, so the scale isn't too big or too small. Let's, uh, let's select the header, which is this one, the orange one, where it says shop. And we need to click on the third icon, the orange one. And uh, done, our text is scaled. Now let's, uh, now let's choose the close button too. Do the same thing, click on the scale text, the third icon, the orange one. And also on the text button. We don't have to do that on the frame because the frame does not have any text. Okay, so let's let's see how it looks now on mobile. So we have to go here again on test and uh, here are devices and look how good it looks. Everything is perfectly scaled, no problems, uh, nothing is too big or too small. The text like this shop one, the X button and here the button, text on the button, which it says button, it's looking perfectly. And also that's the most important thing in a game because you want to make the game playable on each device. I hope you guys like this video and uh, enjoyed and also learned something from it. And I hope to come back in a few days with a new awesome tutorial for you guys. I was Begula Dev and I will see you in the next video.